Welcome to my new class. In last class, we finished chapter number unit number five, solid, liquid, and gas. Now we will start. We will start number seven, unit three, living things and their environment. And now chapter number seven, looking around us. Page number fifty one, looking around us. Plants are important to us. They produce all of the food that animals, including human belong beings eat. Human beings eat. The animals that give us meat, such as chickens and goats, eat grass, leaves, or some other parts of plants. They do not eat flesh of other animals. So all the food that we eat come from plants. So we eat meat as chicken, as goat, and several others. But they are eating grass or some parts of plants. So this is the the process. We eat something and something then eat another others. Next, name the animals. From which we get meat. Number one, two, three, four. Okay, this is by how do plants get food? They make their own food. The leaves of the plants, the tree or and trees are called the food factory of food factory of plants. Structure of leaves. Structure of leaf. A leaf. Is an external part of a plant's stem. Although most leaves are flat, broad, or blade-like, there may be many other shapes, includes round, oval, or feathery. In size, leaves range from only several millimeters long to 15 to 20, 15 to 80 meter long, as the as in the palm tree. Different leaves have different colors. Green leaves derive their colors, their color from the green pigment called chlorophyll. So chlorophyll <coughs> make tree green color. So green color of tree or plants or leaf come from chlorophyll. The process of additional pigment cause the uh, color to leaves such as red, tulis, and purple of cabbage. The presence of ad additional pigment. So, if the additional pigment is there, then it may be so different colors as a purple, red, etc. So, parts of leaf. There are three main parts of leaf. The base it is the point at which the leaf is joining joined to the stem. The stalk or petiole it is the thin section joining the base of base to the lamina. It is generally cylindrical or semi semicircular in form. Number three, the lamina or leaf blade. It is the broad flat part of the leaf food making process occurs in the blood leaf blood has a mid pain or midrib and many sides pain pains carry food and water of leaf water in the leaf they may also support the blood much as the metal rib support the Fiber and umbrella, fiber of an umbrella. Okay. Next, the outer next paragraph. The outer surface of the leaf has many tiny pores. This opening, 
pores are called stomata. Stomata enable carbon dioxide to enter the leaf. A leaf has many stomata. However, the pores, pores are so small that they make less than 1% of leaf surface. So stomata is very important because stomata enable carbon dioxide to enter the leaf. So leaf need carbon dioxide. So the carbon dioxide carry by stomata. So chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is green leaves derive their color from a green pigment called derive their color from a green pigment called chlorophyll. Green pigment of leaf is called chloro chlorophyll next part of leaf The base or be a stalk or petiole C the lamina or Number three, stomata. Stomata is the opening pores are called stomata. Stomata enable carbon dioxide to enter the leaf. The outer surface of leaf many tiny pores. These opening pores are called the outer surface. of the leaf has many pores. This opening pores are called stomata. Next, draw a parts of draw a leaf and show the parts of leaf. Draw and part, draw and leaf and show the parts. Draw and draw leaf, draw leaf and show the parts.
So here this is lips. So we can write the names. So this is called facial. This is called my trip. This is called pain. This is called small netted pain. They are very small. Okay, the small or small part, the pain and here primary pain. Next, this is called stipula. Expected call. Next, blood. Here, some blood like. This is called blood. 